Hey guys, OSG here for a quick tip. Um, we're going to talk about head bolts and head studs. So on the top there, excuse the dog barking, uh, there's a head bolt. Uh, below it's a head stud from ARP. The bolt comes just like you would imagine. It's got a little built-in washer here. Uh, the head stud comes with a nut, a washer, and of course the stud itself. Um, when you install the head bolts, these are supposedly one-time use bolts and you can pretty much count on that being the case because on, when you're installing the head bolts, you do the three-step torque uh, in sequence and then you give it a 45 degree angle final turn and that's to stretch, that stretches the bolt, puts the final torque uh, amount on it. Now, these are metal. Most of the times when you have torque yield bolts, they're what? They're aluminum. So I have used these head bolts over and over again, believe it or not, for two or three builds in a row, and I never had head gasket failures as a result. So I don't know if at some point they started to make them out of aluminum. I don't know. Uh, in the I think in the FSM for 95 and that year model, which is the one I have, um, the FSM for rather, it doesn't mention throwing them away. So... I don't know, but if you go to buy some now, uh, like saying you're doing a head gasket and you look at head gasket set, it'll recommend head bolt replacement because they're torqued to yield. And again, it makes sense because they do have the final 45 degree turn. Uh, another point when you're doing heads, head bolts is you do have to lubricate the threads with engine oil as you put them in, and you do lubricate up underneath the head, uh, up underneath the uh, head uh, top, the bolt. Uh, excuse me, I'm tired, uh, up underneath this washer when you torque them down. So you put them in wet, I guess you could say. On the ARP head studs, they want you to put them in dry. Okay, so the hole is going to be dry. Um, the threads, though, they want you to use this ARP. They call it the uh, Ultra Torque uh, Lube, Molly Lube. And don't confuse it. Don't think you can go buy some Molly Lube and put them on there. They're adamant that you have to use the ARP stuff. And we all know why that could be. It could be that they just want to say, oh, sell ARP lube. But you know what? For something like that, why even doubt it? Just go ahead and put it on there. Don't go to O'Reilly's and buy some, you know, Molly Lube and put that on instead. Just do what they're asking you to do. Um, here's your washer and your nut. Uh, you will put it also underneath the, the face of the nut here on the threads like I mentioned. Okay. Now, here's where it's different. The final torque on these ARP head studs is going to be 20, 40, 60. That's it. There is no final 45 degree turn. 20, 40, 60 foot pounds and that's it. But back to the hand tightening. Now it's going to sound kind of ironic that I'm on YouTube recommending you do something that I say that you shouldn't do from someone on YouTube. Here's why. When I put these head studs in on this build, um, Thinking that ARP, like many companies out there, uh, in the past, Crower Rods had recommended the, uh, the rod caps that you bolt down onto the crank, you would set it a certain torque, uh, come to find out that you should use the Saturn's torque on it, um, the torque spec. So thinking that in line that, you know, maybe ARP, whose bread and butter is typically, yes, going to be the V8 crowds and the, you know, the old 50, 60, uh, era and so maybe those folks there maybe they didn't do as much research on it as they would on you know their cars as they did on the saturns and the hondas and so forth so when i search youtube for how to install arp head studs and just kind of get a um, a second idea on it um i i did find a guy doing a honda build so you know it's a aluminum block aluminum head and he was adamant that you do torque these down to 10 foot pounds now, granted, 10 foot-pounds isn't a whole lot. Uh, however, uh, it's more than what you could put with your hands finger tightening them, unless you're just some kind of mongoloid, you know, with superhuman strength. So, the reason I bring that up is because this one in particular, the rest of them, after what happened to this one, I was cautious with them. Uh, this one here uh, stripped out. It's got a little Allen key at the top, or it's an Allen hole. And using my Allen socket... Now keep in mind, this is ARP head studs. They're supposed to be really top-notch. It's the best fasteners you can use uh, for engines that are going to see a lot of abuse and so forth. So they make them strong out of good material. 
this socket's probably made in China. I got it from O'Reilly's, so you know you never know. But you would think that this would round off first before this did. That just goes to show you how tight these were in here, because uh, it did round out. So, which I can use them again when I type, when I put them in hand tight. Obviously, my ability to screw them in fast with a socket or something like that's not going to be there. I'm gonna have to you know put them in hand tight uh, with just my fingers all the way down. I'd rather it go quicker with a with a socket and so forth, but oh well. The the key here is uh, when you put them in hand tight them only. Don't don't use any torque on them uh, because you know this is the problem that you're going to run into when you're trying to get them out. Call, call it heat cycling, maybe. Maybe they get seized in there uh, once the heat starts cycling, you know, up and down from use and cool down and so forth. But uh, what I had to do ultimately, if this does happen to you. I just took a piece of hose, uh, cut it down the middle, slid it over the, the the shank here, right down here where there's no thread, and used some vice grips uh, to finally get it out, and it did come out. Now the interesting thing was, all, since this happened, I did not try to get the rest of them out using this socket. I actually used this on every one of them, okay? And there were a few that were pretty darn tight, okay? And I remember distinctly, I did use only 10 foot pounds on these things when I put them in. So there's that. Uh, just a little guidance there if that's helpful to you. Um, any questions, just post them below. All right.